So in the last video, we set up this, um, this uh, view with a couple of reference images and a cube, which we're going to start our modeling process with. One of the things to remember as you're modeling here is that uh, we're going to be at some point moving into smooth mode um, so that we can see our cube turn into um, smooth, rounded, organic shapes. Um, so when we model this initially with our box shape, we're not going to worry too much about it conforming exactly to these curves because the software will help us with that a bit later. One of the other things we're going to be doing as we model this object is we're going to um, only model one side of it. Because a dog, like a person and a lot of animals, is symmetrical left to right, we only really need to model one side of it and then we can just duplicate that um, to create the other side of it and that saves us a lot of time. So because we're only going to be modeling one side, the first thing we want to do is make our cube one-sided or basically, in other words, shrink our cube on one side. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into vertex select mode here and we're just going to select these two vertices from the front view and we're going to move them across into this to line up with this sort of central area here. The easiest way to do that is hold down your X key on your keyboard to turn on snapping and we're just going to snap that to the center there like that. Okay, so that's really simple. Okay, now that we've got that set up in place, um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to stay in vertex mode and you'll see that in vertex mode we've got this nice ability to actually just move these vertices around um, and what we're going to be trying to do is basically trace out the shape of the dog in both this left dimension or the side dimension and the front dimension. Um, one of the things you need to remember when you're selecting vertices is that we often want to work with the vertices kind of at the front and at the back at the same time. So if I just click here once, you can see I've only selected one vertex. And so if I was to grab that and move it up, I've moved up one vertex but not the other one. Generally speaking, when we're starting out with our modeling, we're just going to want to select one vertex at a time. Eventually as we go, we're going to sort of modify our vertices over here and these two will, will start to um, depart from each other. But um, just be aware of what you're doing when you're working um, from a particular angle. So that's the first part of it. Um, the other thing is when we're editing with our, our vertices, there's a couple of things that we're going to be doing. Um, we're going to be using our, our move tool a lot obviously. But another tool that's really useful when you're modeling vertices is your rotate tool. You can rotate two vertices that are selected here around their central point and we can use that to just um, adjust where that, that face is pointing. And the other thing that's often useful is scale as well. You can scale those vertices up and down and often here you want to do it in two dimensions. So if we have a look at the um, back side of this face here, as I scale it in this dimension, you can see it's scaling up and down, but only in that Y dimension there. If I was to grab it in the center and scale it, it would do this kind of thing. Sometimes you might want to do that as well, but it's good to know how the tools are actually working. The other um, thing that we want to think about as we're doing this is we want to try and avoid adding too much complexity too early on in this process. Um, and that's a really big um, mistake that beginners make when they're doing this kind of modeling work. When you are working here, it's very tempting to start to, as you start getting into this, to start putting too much detail in, like too many vertices. Um, and you'll find that uh, as you do that, you just end up with a really complex mesh that becomes harder and harder to edit. The third thing I would say um, that we need to be aware of when we're doing this before we get started is you want to be always aware of the actual shape of your object that you're mapping out. You can become really obsessed with just one view here and forget about the other view and also forget most importantly about your three-dimensional view. And that means you can end up doing a lot of work getting this looking right um, and then all that work sort of gets undone as you keep going and realize that you need to extrude from various areas or, or, or whatever. You'll see what I'm talking. I'll show you an example of that in a moment. So um, let's start off with our dog. Now, probably the best way to start thinking about this is that what, what does a, a dog kind of look like? like? What's the best way for us to approach modeling this? Um, if we just go ahead and model all one side of the dog, we'll end up with a basically a cardboard cutout of a dog, which will look wrong in this two dimensional view in this um, front view over here. So we want to be moving between these two views and modeling them both at the same time. But we also want to make sure that we think about where we're going to need to add extra bits and pieces. If you think about it, a dog 
is like if you take the the legs off the dog just ignore the legs for a moment a dog is basically this kind of um, long body um, which is kind of like goes narrow through the middle here and widens out a little bit at the front here through the chest area and the front leg and the hind legs actually sort of extrude off that or they, they come out from the side of the body so as we're modeling the dog we shouldn't try to model the legs all in one go we should try to model them maybe a bit separately to everything else um, same thing with the tail and same thing with the ears they kind of stick up off the rest of the body so let's um, start off by just modeling the main part of the body and then we'll come back and model the legs in a moment all right so uh, first of all, let's uh, start with this back face here. I'm going to go into face select mode. Whenever you're going to do an extrusion, um, which is what we're going to do to add this hindquarters bit here, um, it's probably a good idea to go into face select mode because from there you can really easily extrude that out um, just by um, shift clicking and extruding out like this. So there we are just extruding that back bit out. Now, knowing where to start and where to extrude and where not to extrude is a little bit of an art form um, and takes a bit of practice and you should be prepared to make mistakes and then have to go back and um, try again, start the whole thing again. If you have to start the whole thing again, don't worry too much because quite often when you start the whole thing again, you'll find that you do better the second time and you go faster the second time as well. Okay, so that's our first extrusion there. Always check your 3D view as you go. Um, try and get in the habit of always sort of going back to it and rotating around it just to check what you're doing, make sure you're not creating any mistakes. And what we might do here is we might extrude this front bit here as well out. And again, we're not going to worry too much that this isn't actually the right shape of the dog because we can always adjust these vertices a little bit later on. Okay, so the reason I want to have this here like this is that... Um, I'm going to go into vertex mode again. Um, the reason I want to have this set up like this is because I want to have a space here where the front leg and the hind leg can be extruded out from. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm deliberately trying to leave myself with a face here that I can extrude out for the legs. All I'm modeling in this part here is the kind of body itself. So I'm going to leave that, I'm going to try and leave these here as much as I can. Um, in fact, what I could do now is I could grab both of those and just extrude those out a little bit. And that starts to give me um, the sort of like some space to do to work with the legs. And you can see here on the side, I'm starting to build that as well. But I haven't worried yet about this uh, front view. Um, and I should probably come back and worry about that in a moment. But first, let me just m map out the main parts of the body. The other part of the body that we're going to need here is the neck and again we've left a little bit of space here for that you can see that we've got this um, neck area here can be extruded out of this um, face here so we'll just bring that face up there with an extrude and we'll just bring it up to about there okay so we're starting to get somewhere now with our model it's starting to have a basic dog shape to it see it's really blocky and we want to just keep it like that if we were to look at this now, it's kind of like a really blocky dog shape. It's starting to get that you know, rough dog shape to it. And that's kind of what we're after at this point. If we were to pop into um, smooth mode now, you can see how those meshes will make it even more dog shaped, even more organic shaped. Let's just stay with the blocks for the moment and uh, we'll adjust those in a, in a little bit. Um, at this point, you can do a few different things. You could uh, extrude down just a little bit here like this just for the legs just so that we've almost almost what we're doing here is um, just giving ourselves a little bit of a, a kind of a reminder that we have to do these things more than anything else okay so this one here is too wide I want to make that thinner um, and I could come in here and just modify these vertices, but a really quick and simple way of doing that is just to use my scale tool and just scale those back in like that. Um, and we can see here that we've also got another problem going on, um, and that is that we're starting to kind of cover up our reference image with our mesh now, which is going to make our life harder as we keep going. So um, one way to get around that is to press your uh, 4 key on your keyboard and turn these views into um, wireframe views 
and that way um, you can just see the so there's five to fully shaded and four to wireframe view and that way we can see through our wireframe we can see through our mesh to the um, underlying image okay so now I've got my basic shape in place I can start to adjust some of these vertices a little bit to um, make them line up a little bit better with the um, actual object at this point I'm going to start thinking about my um, front view as well so let's just come in here and grab some of these now as I'm working on my side view here I'm trying to remember that I've got vertices running all the way through here so I'm going to grab these two here back to my move mode. I'm just going to move that back and what I'm trying to do is just align that vertex more or less with where the neck starts there in the body and I'm not going to worry too much about this deep yet. I can come back and add that level of detail later on. Um, this vertex here I might just bring that up so that that part of the body there is kind of more or less following the the contour of the body. And then this back one here. I'm just going to ignore the tail for now. We'll do something with the tail later on. And I might just put this vertex here just below that part of the tail. Okay, and now we'll pop in here, maybe just modify this one a little bit. Maybe we can even, I don't know, bring this one up a bit here. Move it back a bit. So we can see this one's way out the front here, we'll move this one back. Now this one's an interesting one here. Um, there's actually a few vertices that I'm grabbing when I do that. You see there's three vertices. One of them is actually the, um, it belongs to the leg and the other one belongs to the chest. And the dog's chest probably just sort of goes kind of in behind here a little bit. Because what we're seeing from the side view here is the front leg. We don't really know exactly where that dog's chest goes um, and there's probably some artistic interpretation you can use there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, I'm going to take this uh, vertex, I'm just going to keep all these vertices together for now. When in doubt, just uh, go with the simpler option. So the simpler option here is for me just to align all those vertices with the, um, with the front of the body. Again, remembering that our, our real enemy here, the thing that we can do wrong, is we can add too much detail too early on. So when in doubt, don't add detail. When in doubt, just make it roughly good, roughly right. Okay, so you can see here that I, I actually need to somehow get this sort of shape happening through here. Um, and there's, there's a few different ways I could do that. I could put another cut right through the middle of my dog's body um, and or I could um, extrude this part here out. So for example, I could do something like this. I could go uh, into face select and I could select that face and then extrude that face out and then come in here and just shape that down like that if I want. Okay, so that's one way I could do that. The nice thing about doing that is that I get a chest for the dog coming out here without having to um, adjust this uh, leg here at all. And I get this extra space to work with there as well. Um, but the other way to do it, I'll just undo those. Okay, so the other way I could do this is that I could put a cut, another edge loop around here. Now whenever you're working um, with a 3D mesh like this um, and you're going to do a cut, so a cut will give us extra vertices to work with and that gives us extra space to, um, your basic extra lines we can draw out. But whenever you do a cut or an extrude, you're adding complexity to your mesh. And so we want to avoid doing that, as I keep reiterating, we want to avoid doing that until we actually have to. So let's just leave that for now um, and let's just focus on this front view. So the other thing I said before was that it become, can become really easy to become obsessed with your side view and then forget about your front view or vice versa. So if we have a look over here and I 
um, rotate this guy around. He looks okay from the side, but from the front, he's looking not very dog-like at all. So let's um, have a look at our front view here and see if we can adjust some of these. It will become really useful for us to um, know all about our... Um, it will become really useful for us at this point <coughs> to remind ourselves about um, all of our um, uh, vertices that we've got in our 3D view here because as we start modifying these things here, so as we start having a look at these vertices here, you can see it's actually quite difficult to see which vertex is attached to what part of the dog. And we need to know that. So for example, if I was to grab these vertices here, right at the dog's hind end, um, that's all these three vertices. And these all appear here, across here is this line of vertices here. So what I want to do is, I don't actually want to modify this vertex here. It's already in the right position. But this vertex here I want to modify, and this vertex here I want to modify. And with my 3D view open like this, I can see that when I click on those, I can see which vertex that's referring to. So for this vertex here, I probably want to move that vertex here back in a bit. And on my front view here, I can't actually see the back of the dog, right? I don't really know where that vertex is going to go. So I'm just going to use a basic guess at where I think the dog's anatomy would go at that point. With this other one that's out here, so I'm going to go press your Q key to get out of your move mode so you can access this one and then back into W to move again. We know this vertex is in the wrong place. It can't be all the way out here because that's way off the um, reference image. So we'll move this one in. Now in this case we also can't see where the hind leg goes to but we know it's not going to be too far behind. It depends how we want our dog to look. Our dog's probably going to be a bit wider at the front than it's going to be at the back, so we'll move that in just a little bit there, but not too much. And then for reference, we'll go back and have a look at our model here, and you can see that it's starting to look a little bit funky through here. That's okay. We haven't really finished with this yet, so let's have a look at this vertex here next. This vertex here is the uh, top of the dog's body, or actually the top of the dog's hind leg. So because it's the top of the dog's hind leg, the hind leg will sort of come up here like this. So we probably want to bring this vertex down here somewhere. Similarly, we don't want it to be all the way out here. We want it to be back in, but probably not all the way back in. So probably it's one of those areas that's going to be sticking out the most. Okay, so that's kind of in the right position there. Again, our dog's not going to look perfect at this point because we're working at a fairly low resolution, but um, we're going to stay at that low resolution because we don't want to add too much complexity. So what about this one here then? Does that one need to move? That one at the moment looks like it's in kind of totally the wrong position. It's correct as far as where the back of the dog should be between the legs here. So in terms of height, it's probably about right. Um, maybe it could come down just a little bit. But in terms of, um, in terms of depth, like where it sits, uh, it's probably pretty close. Maybe it could come in just a bit. All right, so uh, what else? What about in terms of where it is across? Well, remember, this is the bit of the dog that this isn't the leg, so we'd be tempted on this front view to move it all the way out to here, but, but that would be wrong, right? Because it's actually part of the dog's stomach at the back, so we want to keep that across there like that. And what we're thinking about here now is the width of this leg. So let's come in here and start playing with these, um, some more of these leg vertices. You can see that my mesh is starting to become quite complicated through here, um, which is why it's so important for us to have not made this over complex in the first place. So let's start with these two bottom vertices here, which we can see really easily. Um, they're the front. They're, that looks like it's going to be the front paw. And you can see that it's too far across to the right here. So I'm going to move those back across here. And I'm just going to scale them in so that they're a little bit closer to where I want it to be. And then what about these two? So these two are the two from the hind leg. So we'll move those across and we can see just that bit of the hind leg that kicks out here. That's this heel bit here. 
So we want that one to be um, possibly just a little bit higher here. And again, if we zoom in, you can get in quite close on these things and you can see that these two are roughly, they're the right width. So what about these two? These are obviously in the wrong spot too. Which ones are they? So you can see these are the, um, this is the back of the, the dog's heel here. Whereas these two here are the front of the dog's heel. So that front of the dog's heel actually, that probably should be down here. And these two at the back here, they need to be across here and down a little bit. And this vertex here probably needs to be in there somewhere. We can't see where this hind leg goes exactly because of the front leg being in the way, but we can probably guess that it's going to be about the same thickness as the front leg. Again, you need to take a bit of artistic um, license in some of these um, with some of these decisions. Okay, so now we're looking a little bit better. Um, some of these vertices are still off, like these two, for example these two are the um, parts of the front leg here so these should be kind of in line with the dog's front knee area so that front knee area is around about the right height here so we need to bring these across just to align with the side there okay so we're aligning with this part of the knee here what about these two vertices here what are they these two vertices here are the front of the, is the inside of the front leg and we can see that these need to be across to here somewhere to line up along there. So you'll see that because all of our work that we're doing is only in this this um, front view here we're only moving our vertices left and right we're not moving them up and down um, very much so you can see that it's not actually changing all the work that we've done over here what we're doing is we're just aligning the work over here to, to match up. Okay, so let's have a look at our 3D view and let's see if there's anything there that looks that sort of sticks out to us as being in the wrong place. Probably these two vertices here don't look right. These are the top of the dog's shoulder and the top of the dog's shoulder is going to be somewhere around here. So we can probably bring these guys down a little bit. I'm just going to click on them once each and just move them into position. Uh, this one here can probably move across and in a little bit. This one can probably move a little bit down. And we still got that problem here where we just don't have enough room. We can't actually make these lines come out here far enough. So probably I'm starting to get to the point now where I'm starting to think that a little bit more detail through there is probably not a bad idea. But let's leave that for now and just work on the head really quickly and get that finished. So with the head part, um, we just need to um, do this relatively quickly and simply. Go back into face select, we'll select that face and we'll just drag this one up. We'll just extrude it up to where the eyes are and then we'll just extrude it up again to where the head is. Then we'll grab this face at the front here and we'll extrude that out. And I'm actually looking at this view down here as I extrude it out so I can see how far I'm extruding and I'm just trying to make it meet this basic um, shape of the face. I'm not going to worry too much about these eyebrow areas yet. I can add them in as a bit of detail later on. Similarly, I'm just going to leave the ears alone for now. Okay, so back into vertex mode. And I'll just bring that in there. Okay, so here's my dog looking a bit dog-like. Again, I'm only doing half of the dog, so it's only half a dog. But you can start to see that the shape, the form of the dog is starting to come out pretty well here. All right, so for the next thing um, now, I'm at the point now where I, I've pretty much, apart from adding in like the tail or the ears, I'm pretty, or, and the little bit, the bottom of the feet, I'm pretty much at the point where I can't do anything more without adding more detail. So let me just, let me just quickly do the feet here, just to finish them off. 
um, because they're just extrusions of what we've got already. And um, we'll see just a little bit how to do that. So for this one, I'm going to extrude out. I'm going to put these two vertices in here and I'm going to rotate them slightly so that they kind of stay aligned with the um, flow of the um, flow of the uh, object. So uh, let's have a look at our, let's have a bottom, look at the bottom here, go back into face select. We'll grab this one and we'll just extrude that out to there. And then I will rotate that face and move it. I'm going to zoom in here so you can see a bit more clearly what I'm doing. I'll go back to vertex select mode here. And we'll just drag that vertex into there, that one into there. And then just have a look at our front view. You can see that these things have gone a bit wrong in the front view here, so they should be kind of up around here somewhere. This one here is going to be further back because it's sort of supporting the back of the, the leg or the foot. I'll bring that one down even a little bit. That can probably come in a bit. What about these two? They're about right, maybe just across a little bit here like this. Remembering it's the back leg we're looking at. And then this foot will just extrude out again. Probably the foot's going to come over here a bit, right? The, the front bits of the foot here. So we're going to just move those across and maybe just widen them out a little bit too. Again, our 3D view is going to be really helpful for us in this, in this particular case um, because it'll help us sort of get a sense of how things should be. So probably looking at this 3D view here, if I come in here, I probably want that vertex to come out a little bit more. And maybe bring this one in a bit more. Okay, that's good enough. Um, again, we can come back and, and fix this up later on. That'll do for a start. Let's do the front one. So you can see as we're doing this modeling, um, the, the more confident you are with the different ways of um, moving things around, extruding things and so on, the easier it gets for you to um, do the modeling at this point. Um, one of the things that really slows down people when they're starting to, um, when they're learning to model, is just all of those shortcut keys and trying to remember what tool to use at which point and just getting them working in the right way. Um, the more you do this, the better you'll get at that. So it's really all about practice um, and there's no really easy way um, to um, just just sort of like magically learn all this stuff you just have to you just have to do it and keep playing with it which is why we set these exercises for you to do because they just take time to go through and they give you lots of exposure to the things you're supposed to be doing okay again front view here move that across these two here have to be moved across to here uh, this one here, these two, they are probably going to come up a little bit, maybe down a bit, but in about that position there. These vertices here are all out of position, so what about this, what's this one here? 
let's move these in a bit so what's this one here oh that's part of the back back leg so we can probably move that one up a bit again let's not worry about that too much now because we can spend hours trying to sort this out and what you'll find is that when you go into um, smooth mode like this you'll find that they all kind of shrink in and you'll need to adjust them all out to line up properly anyway it's not a bad idea to look at it um, all in smooth mode um, because at this point you can start to see that your dog is starting to look really quite dog-like sure there's, there's a few issues here still but um, we can start to see that we're getting that kind of sense of the shape of a dog Okay, I'm going to stop this video now and in the next video um, I will pick up where we're at and just look at refining the mesh um, and adding the ears and the tail.